Good morning, everyone. I hope you are all doing well, staying safe and healthy and um, getting some crafting and, you know, maybe even spring cleaning done. I know spring's has sprung and I need to do that myself. But today um, I do have a review of some Diamond Press items. So thank you so much Diamond Press for sending these for my review. They were sent free of charge and as always, all opinions are my own. Um, so what I decided to do is maybe I'll start reviewing some of the items that are already on hsn.com uh, for the April 14th craft day, you know, gearing up for that. So I know there are a few items already from Diamond Press there. And some of you guys said you've already ordered them. Of course, the today's special, which will be the brand new marquee, will not be there until, um, I believe, just before uh, April 14th. So I think Diamond Press, I put out an email saying that they will they should start being available around 10 o'clock uh, Eastern on April 13th, if you're wanting to really get, you know, the certain color uh, that you want to get in there. So I know I hear from a lot of you guys that you would like the gold to match the gold one you already have. So that's a popular one. So, um, so make sure, you know, tune in or go log on hsn.com and check that out. Um, around that time. Uh, so today I have a few things. So I have to, uh, wrap up the giveaway for the markers that was on the Easter Blessings uh, video. The Easter Blessings video, I have the card here that I had made. And uh, Diamond Press was nice enough to give away three sets of markers on that video of their markers that I used to do this background with. So um, I am going to do the results of that giveaway right now. Okay, guys, so there were 207 comments and stored by the newest first. So number 207 would be this last one here um, by Marla, and the first one would be the first one. So let's go to random.org, and it chose number 182. And if I go back to the comments, number 182 was jody elaine weinbrenner who says enter me please thank you right here jody elaine weinbrenner you won a set of markers then the next one was number four which i thought that was kind of fun because that's the early entry um and that one was um melissa bryant who said enter me right there melissa bryant so you also won a set of markers and the last winner here was number 116, right in the middle or so. And that was uh, Nazira Rowley. It's just lovely. Please enter me. I would love to make some cute cards just like yours. So thank you so much. That's really sweet. So ladies, uh, y'all three won a set of markers. And I will um, have my email in the description box that you can email to claim your prize. And I'll get your information over to Diamond Press. Okay, so congratulations, ladies. So make sure to email me and I'll get that information out to Diamond Press. So thank you so much for everyone who entered the giveaway for the marquee on the marquee review video right now has tons of entries. So make sure you enter it if you have not uh, done so. You have a few more days to enter. Um, and then today I'll also be giving away, you know what? I didn't even think about what I was going to give away. Let's, um, let's give away three of these stamp uh, mats. This that you see in the background of all my videos. It's lovely. I love the color. It works great. I get stuff stuck on here the other day. I did that Vicky, is it Button? I always say it wrong. I want to say Vicky Button, but Bhutan would be French, but I guess she didn't say it that way. So she says Button. <laughs> anyway, it had dried on here and it comes right off. So, um, I mean, I've, I've done so many different things. I do probably need to clean it up in the next, uh, day or so here but uh, but other than that everything comes right off and it's really nice for stamping because it's a silicone mat so it has a little bit of push back into your um your stamp so that's really nice so thank you so much diamond press for offering to give away uh those items so i will do a giveaway of three stamp mats and the information for the giveaway will be at the end of the video written up and i'll talk about that more then but you guys already know you always want to say uh be subscribed to my channel thumbs up the video say enter me you can say whatever else you'd like but make sure to say enter me to enter the giveaway and the dates of the end of it ending and all that will be at the end there okay so thank you so much so today <laughs> the first set i'm going to try out is this set here um on the box it says DP or Diamond Press Pillow Box Stamp and Die Kit. So this is going to be really fun, guys. With a larger opening, there's going to be a lot more projects we can do. So this um, package here, let's open this up. So I know on HSN they have just the image of the item, but nothing... Um, 
doesn't have any kind of uh, uh, project like images to go with it. But let me pull this off. So I can see already, super cute. So this is your little pillow box here, right? Your die, you're probably gonna have to cut it twice, I would assume, because obviously this is one side. We have um, like a little label here or a tag. The tag's here, it says hello. We have thanks, oh, that's so cute. We have tiny little um, flowers, some larger like outlines, the butterfly, um, a pretty little flower it looks like here, a nice little heart, and a bow and the circle. And of course we have our inspo sheet, but I'll get to that in just a second since I already started talking about these other items. Let's keep going. Um, so we have some really nice things. Oh, I love that. Really cute, just kind of like a stripe pattern. Um, we have the label, so like a blackout if you want to color in your label. Um, or that tag, I guess. Probably label, I guess. Um, so we have high birthday. You have you, miss, congrats. You are loved. Love. Cute little, um, like, let me bring this down a little bit like little stars kind of background detail. Thanks, or th yeah, does it think? Thank. Love, um, we have for being so great, a bunch, cheers. I hear my daughter waking up. It is like 6.30 in the morning. I heard footsteps. <laughs> so there's a little floral spray kind of a, with a circular shape there. This really cute one with little dots and stars. Um, it says, hey, you are one of a kind, best day ever, which I love. Um, this one says, from the bottom of my heart with like a little heart. Uh, that pretty little flower, again, that little uh, floral spray that we saw the, um, or bouquet, should I say, that we had the dye for, and then the bow, which is adorable. This is really cute. So, of course, it comes always with a cutting folder. It's the larger folder. We have uh, two embossing folders, which are really great. We have the chevron, which is that cute little, really stylized chevron. So it's different. And a lot of times it's usually one solid thing here, but it has, like, two lines. So it's really nice and stylized. And this cute little flower one little floral. Adorable. Oh, and oh, it also comes... Did it? this come out of here? It must have. Um, a small uh, folder, which it's funny because I did the frequently asked questions I had asked. Can we still use the small folders in the marquee? So here we have this. And it may be because maybe you're going to pick this up and maybe uh, you have a smaller diamond press but you don't have the marquee, so maybe you still want to obviously be able to cut the smaller items. So there's that. And the inspo sheet. So let's check this out. Oh, you know, I didn't mention on the very first Marquee video, it also comes with information like this. I had shown you guys the inspo sheet, but it did also have, you know, how to use it, which is, I mean, super easy. It's just your paper, your die, your folder, and if you're doing an embossing folder, it's just the, um, the embossing folder with the paper. So, very simple, but the, that information does come with it. Um, so really cute here, they're showing how to layer it up or how to cut or whatever you uh, choose to do with that, with the different items. Oh my gosh, that is so cute. It's like a, it's like the same uh, as a stamp. I thought it was like a little flower, but if you see, it's like a little kind of starry, kind of hand-drawn looking doodle. And then we have the pieces and course you do cut two and you stick the two sides together. And then we have all the little sprays. So let me grab some paper um, and we'll see what we can make. Okay, so I've chosen some colors that are kind of, um, let me try to get this lighting a little Okay, that are kind of uh, beachy. I don't know. I just thought these are pretty colors to go together. So I have like a coral looking color that matches my tool here. Um, a little tan, a little dark blue, and I might use a little more of that dark blue in a minute. But what we're going to do first is do the pillow box. And I'm just going to use the folder I have been using just because um, I want you guys to see, you know, putting it through its paces. And we're just going to cut out two of these guys. So I'm just going to line this up here. And I just cut pieces of paper just willy-nilly to fit in here. And to be honest, I probably could have cut both of them at the same time. Um, but they do have uh, score marks that I do want to show up on each one, so I'd rather just do them one at a time. But hopefully you can kind of see the score marks on there. And this is a very thin recollections paper, so there's a score mark there, there, and on the side. And I'm also going to emboss this. A lot of times when you emboss something that has score marks, it goes away in the score marks. So what we're going to do is really make sure our score marks are there, and then we're going to run it through and see. Um, hopefully that works, you know. So let's do the second one. And then we're going to run it through with an embossing folder just for fun. Why not, right? <laughs> but what we're going to do before we do that 
again, like I said, is make sure our score marks are really, really scored. So with these other ones, and I've had things like this before, just try to push it back. And if your thumb can kind of help you out, hopefully you can see how easy that was. I just kind of followed it and there's that score mark, right? And this one's um, a little different because it is kind of rounded. So I like to just kind of keep it tight and then I'll come through and pinch, pinch, pinch really well, right up to where it needs to be, okay? And then this one is just a flat, straight line so I will score that real well and again on the other side I'm gonna do the same thing for the other one and I'll probably do it off camera but see how easily it just pushed in the way it needs to go that's great so I'm hoping when I do the uh, embossing it does not go away completely because we do need those lines to show up so I'm gonna use a little flower one because uh, why not and I'm just gonna place our little guy in here if the top and the bottom are just sticking out you know not sticking out, but like outside of the design area, that doesn't matter because those are really much going to be put away that you don't really see them anyhow. So let's go. Oh, perfect. I tell you, because it feels like nothing's going on when you're doing it. It just rolls like butter. So it gave me my impression, but it wasn't so tight that it really got rid of all my score marks. So check that out. But make sure to score them first, just so you have that extra deep scoring, right? And I'll do the same thing for this guy. And um, and I'm going to make sure to emboss it the same way I just did it, because these two need to stick together. So if I embossed it and this one's backwards, it's, it's the embossing is going to be depressed on one side and embossed on the other, you know what I'm saying? So make sure when you go to emboss it that it's facing the way you want it to go. I'll be right back. Okay, I have my two pieces. I'm gonna take a minute to glue these. Um, because I did the embossing, it's gonna have like some nooks and crannies and all that good stuff. So I'm gonna use a wet glue. So I'm gonna put some on one side here. Pretty close to the edge, this outer edge. Cause obviously you want it to stay together nicely. If you wanna use a, a tape pen, that, that'd be great too. But what I'm going to do is stick this together. I'm going to put it to the side to keep these flat and touching exactly together, right? I really want that to stay nicely. So I'm just going to put it to the side and put like a little weight on it. And why I say put a little weight on it is literally just get something like, like this. <laughs> just anything to put on there and just set it on there to hold it down so that part starts drying. And then we'll move on um, to the next portion in just a minute. So the other things I wanted to add on here are going to be, um, I need this circle one here. I'm going to use one of the, the this little spray, I guess, because it's cute. Well, they're both cute, but I want to bring in a little more of a floral look, so I'll use this one. And I need this piece of paper here. So all I'm going to do is stamp this out and I'm going to stamp it with the block that I just, with the stamp pad that I just used to uh, weigh down my, uh, my project. So let me switch that out. Okay, I'm going to use this here. And where is a good stamper? Is this one big enough? That'll do. All right, so I have this. I have this smoothie ink from uh, the color is called smoothie from close to my heart. This stuff is ancient, and when I went to get it right now, it was actually open like this. I was like, oh no, because I mean I haven't used these in years, and it's still juicy. So there you go. Just making sure I got it all. Oh, it's so cute. I love that. It's just kind of rustic and super cute. So now we're just going to cut this guy out with this uh, circle die. And again, you can tape it if you would like. I'm just going to hold it tight, so I think that's going to be good enough. And then I'm going to cut out the butterfly for an accent piece. And I think that's all I'm going to do for today on this one. And then some wording. So there's our little circle. Super cute. And I just need the butterfly. And literally I'm just gonna take an extra piece of this coral that I had just cut earlier. And then that one, let's put our ring back. I always try to put everything back. Oh. 
they are going to have some nice storage binders and panels guys so like i showed you in the today's special value that they came with those cute panels um, and the pockets you will have a view of those very soon so i like that so i'm going to use this the coral with the butterfly on top and then the blue for the background of the butterfly So cute and so, like, just, I'm telling you, butter. Now, well, how am I going to get this guy out? Do I have, where's my tool? So I always look to see if they have a place to poke it out, and this one does. That's good. So right in the middle, it has two little holes you can poke it right out. Sometimes people or companies make them where you don't have a place to poke it out. It's just the place to kind of, the holes are there from, like, where they cut out the other images or the other pieces, but <laughs> there's nothing to help you, so you have to kind of gouge it out, which is never that fun. Okay, and the last thing, I think I'm going to cut out the word thanks on blue paper. Where did I? I will be right back. Okay, so I just ripped a piece off of the same blue paper I used for the background of the butterfly. And I think that's all the elements we'll be using, and now we just got to get everything together. Nope. <laughs> I'm like, where'd my die go? Here we go. Oh, this is so pretty and delicate. Look how small that is. So pretty. Again, let me see if I can poke this thing out. Oh, very smart. There's a few different places I can poke it from the back. So there you go. Look how delicate that is. So pretty. Okay. So let me close up just a little bit here. And what I want to do is add the thanks to my little circle here. And again, however you like to do it, sticker maker, spray the back of it with adhesive. I'm just gonna use this glue. It's tacky glue inside a little tiny precision bottle. There we go. Now I'm wondering what happened to that little girl. I heard pitter patter, little footsteps. <laughs> and she did not come down. All right. A lot of times the kids will hear me talking and they know I'm making a video so then they just decide to stay in their room because they know mama needs time. So with this one, I'm going to kind of just puff up the, ring, the wings a little bit. You guys know I always like a little movement. If you want to stick it down completely, you can always do that. And I'm going to place that on here. So we're going to give this some time to dry. And then what I want to do with this guy so I want to stick him on the box, but I need him to stay nice and flat. I want it to, whenever we use the box, for it to um, really stay on there, kind of flat like this. So I'm going to go ahead and work with that right now and keep it flat, let it dry flat. And then we'll finish up the box. And I'm doing it um, <laughs> in the direction I am. I mean, you can put it sideways, right? The reason I'm doing it this way is because... The embossing, if you look at the little flowers, they have like little bouquet and they go in one direction. If you do it sideways, it's just gonna be sideways bouquets. And if you like that, that's fine. But for me, I'm gonna make my box so it's up and down. So I'm gonna let this dry completely and I'll be right back. Okay, so I just left my little glue bottle kind of sitting on it. But what we're gonna do now is just go ahead and close it up. So this goes here. And the point of a pillow box is you don't really have to close up this side with glue um, because what happens is the tension keeps it closed. But if you want to close it up with glue, go ahead. But I'm going to go ahead and put some glue on this other side here. And uh, really quick, really cute to work with. Um, super adorable. Again, if you want to use a, um, a tape runner, that's up to you. Use a very strong adhesive for this. That's why I like to use white glues on boxes because they will not come apart. It's wet glue. Like, until, unless you tear it, it's not going to come apart. So I'm going to kind of massage this a little bit. And you probably even lay it flat, to be honest. But I don't want to. So I'm just going to hold it until it's uh, mostly dry, and I'll be right back. Okay, this is my little stack of stuff. I don't know why that's on there, but <laughs> to keep this uh, flat on the one side while it's drying. So I think we're good. So cute. And this glue dries pretty quickly, so I do like it because it's kind of rubbery. 
So um, if anything comes out, you just kind of rub it away and it's fine. So like I said, this kind of holds together with like a little bit of a tension. So if you're doing that, you don't have to glue this bottom part. Um, but if you want to, you know, go ahead. And then the top, and you can pick whichever side you want to go top, bottom, however. Um, I guess in a way, if you also wanted to switch one so that you have a notch on one side, not on the other, you can do that. Um, I just put the notches together on one side just because I figured that's how you can do it. But you don't have to have notches on both on the top. You know what I'm saying? You can switch one underneath. So if you can open it from either side, easier. And then um, my little butterfly. I don't know where I want to put her. Oh, oh, I guess down here. Um, and I'll use my 3D glue gel for that because this is a rounded surface and I kind of want it to stick a little nicer there and I'll just kind of give that a bend too why not and this is some good stuff right here so it'll really stick on there oh let's go this way and that's it guys super quick really cute really useful a uh, uh, little item um and I, I didn't even do too much of the stamping and there's plenty of stamps in this to um do lots of fun things with because a lot of those stamps the sentiments will fit inside um, the little circle, you know? So, and with the other ones on the other sheet there. And then again, you have your label. And you have, there's just tons that you can do with this um, that you can play around here. So, thank you so much, Diamond Press, for saying these for my review and for the giveaway. So, now for the giveaway. What day is today? I was trying to plan if I should do all the giveaways to end on the same day, but it's going to, probably not. So, um, for this one, for the stamp mat, uh, Let's say we will end the giveaway uh, entries on April 6th, 2020, and I will draw three names on April 7th, 2020, and um, using random.org. So again, the instructions or the entry rules will be in the next scene here, and uh, you just have to thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, uh, say enter me, be 18 years of age or older, not international at this time, and... Um, and then I'll draw the, the names and we'll go from there. So thank you guys so much. Make sure to enter all the different uh, giveaways. There's lots of them. <laughs> and of course, to watch HSN going into the 14th, probably starting on the 13th around 10 p.m. Eastern time. And um, like I said, this set is already available there if you want to check it out. I'll have the link in the description box and links to anything else that pertain to uh, this video. And I will see you guys at the next one. Bye now.